Hey everybody, this is Ahi from Geek Empowered. And today we're gonna take you through some options that you can use if you don't have tools like PayHip or Gumroad to sell a digital product. So I am using WordPress and I'm using Canva for my images. And I'm also using Stripe to process my payments. There is an easy way that I can do this with just WordPress where I have WooCommerce and there's a, I believe there is a virtual, a digital product plugin that, can, that I can use with WordPress, but I got to double check. And if I find it, I'll do another tutorial on that. But for now, we're going to use Stripe and we're going to use WordPress. So this is my new homepage. It is in progress, still working on it for Geek Empowered. And what we have is a lot of blog posts and a lot of articles, my case studies, um, ways for people to schedule a free audit. And then we do our deep dives like this, where um, we do a deep dive into a particular project or a particular tool. And then I share those findings in our deep dives. And then we have our blog. And then this is the part I wanted to get to, which is our digital products. So I'm updating this today. As you can see, I have two done already. And then there's a third that I need to work on. I'm going to show you the two that we worked on already. So the first one is your business tech stack. Now, I started off, let me see if I can find it. I started off on Gumroad. So this is what I have on Gumroad is 99 cents. As you can see, people would have to go through this process to get to the, um, the product. So let me show you really quick what that looks like. So because this is my account, it's not gonna charge me. I'm just gonna pay it. And then you see what it takes you to? It takes you to this page. And by first glance, people might not know right away to click this to view the actual content. But when you click it, it takes you to my Notion, which is the same thing I have up here. It takes you to a Notion page. So you see, I might start off selling this on my site and on social media, and then it takes people to Gumroad, and then it takes from people to go from Gumroad to Notion, and then um, people will probably leave and go do their own thing once they're done with the Notion. So what I'm doing is I'm moving this to my actual website so people can stay on the website. So how did I set that up? Let's go through it. So I added a section here using Divi. I added a blurb here and I put my own image there. I put my own text there. All of this is linked to my Stripe payment system. So in Stripe, I have a product catalog and I added a new product. I added a new product and I added the name of that product, the cost, the description. And then I came here. As a matter of fact, let me just do it full out. So I'm going to add a product. I'm going to call this. Let me quickly look through my notion to see what I can do. So this is my, my ins and outs of the business. Cause this is where I put all my notes for geek empowered. So then I have a whole list. So we're going to call this, uh, choosing your marketing tech stack worksheet. So we're going to take this, we're going to name it here. We're going to add a description. Um, I'm going to just do this for now. And then I'm going to use Canva. If I have it up, I don't have it up. Let me quickly go to Canva. And then I'm going to make a quick image. A lot of people don't know what MarTech is. So I'm going to put marketing tech stack. I'm going to put that there. So I must be somewhere because I see that I'm here, but it's fine. I want to change a little bit of something on here. So that way it doesn't look like horrible. Oh, I need to get rid of the other AHE so I can see. I don't know how it's blending on that side. Sorry, it's the designer and me. I'm like, I gotta fix it. And you know what, let me undo that. And then maybe I can change the background to a different color. I just want it to look slightly different from 
I want it to look slightly different from the other ones that I have, but I don't know how this is. Oh, you know what? Let me just undo. Uh, I don't know. I want to, I didn't want to do a design tutorial, but here I am being picky as usual. I need to flip this. Let's say flip. And then we're going to set it to the back. Oh, uh, that's the part I didn't want. Okay. Let me try to scoot it over and see. Yeah, that will blend. That will blend. And then the other color. There we go. Slightly different. I know y'all are like, that does not make a huge difference. It makes a difference to me. Okay. So where are we at? Choosing, choosing your marketing tech stack. We have it in Stripe. We're going to upload it here onto Stripe. And then for this, for the tax ID or the tax code, I'm just going to do digital non-subscription with permanent rights, newspapers, downloadable, not subscription. That works. That works. And then I don't need any extra stuff. This is a one-off thing. And it's going to be 99 cents because I feel like making it 99 cents. And we're going to add that product. So then once it's here, we need to click it. And then once you click it, you need to create a payment link. Link Because right now there's no link for somebody to buy it. This is just the product. So we need to create a payment link. And you're going to see all the information here. This is the important part. After payment, you want to redirect them. So what I'm going to do, and let me double check. What I am going to do is redirect them to my website. So in, in um, WordPress, I need to duplicate this page because this is what my product pages look like. So now I need to create a new page and I'm gonna copy this page. It's gonna paste the name here. We're gonna use Divi Builder and then yes, we can leave. I've been having this issue, which I know I need to fix. I know I need to fix this. I don't know why I keep having this issue. Okay, so now we're in. And then we're going to clone an existing page. So we're going to clone the, your business tech stack. And we're going to click use this layout. I don't know why this box is so tiny. It's usually not this tiny. And now we have the page cloned. So I'm just going to change this so I don't get mixed up. And then we're going to publish it for now. Nobody can see it. Nobody is notified that this is up and running. So now that this is published, we're going to exit Visual Builder. I'm going to come back and fix this later. And then I'm going to grab this link. So let's grab this URL. We're going to go back to Stripe. And then where it says confirmation page, we're not going to show a confirmation page. We're going to redirect customers to your website. And then we're going to put in that link and then create the link. So I created the link. We're going to copy this link. It is copied. And then we're going to go back to WordPress and we're going to get out of that. We're going to put our link here. So just because I already copied it and I don't want to lose it, I'm going to put that in here first. I'm going to put that in the title link and the module link. So no matter where you click, you're going to go to that strike page. The one thing I do wish that it had, I wish it had a button because a lot of people are not going to know to click this. Usually people look for a button, but it's fine. I'll take what I can get. So we're going to change out this text. Let me go back to this, choosing your MarTech worksheet. And then we're gonna change out the image. 
to the one that we just made in Canva. Okay. And I want to see if there's going to be like a difference between the three. I didn't want it to look exact. That's why I was so picky about it. It's slightly different. Slightly, but to the untrained eye, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. And then I'm going to add a description, which I'll be honest, I kind of want to go to AI and see what type of description they'll give me. So let's do Bard. Let's see what it gives us. So if you're looking for AI tools, I'm testing out Bard right now. Um, I My first go-to is usually Claude. A lot of people started off with chat GPT. Like the paid versions are worth it, especially if you're using it for work and to analyze stuff and to read stuff for you. Like it is really, really good. So I'm not going to take all of this. I'm just going to take the first paragraph and then I'm going to go back to my home page. And I'm going to put that there. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. It is saved. We're going to do the exit visual builder. This is what it looks like. Okay, cool. I was really nervous about this because this was acting very wonky. So again, not finalized version, but it, it works for what I need. And then choosing your MarTech stack worksheet, we're going to click the title. It's going to redirect us to the Stripe checkout page. And then in here, I'm going to put in my, I'm not going to put in my information, but imagine if you will, that I put in my payment information. Once I get done paying, it'll redirect me to this page. And that is it for the other version, which I'll just talk through really, really quick. The other version of what I did is I did send people back to the Notion page. So that middle that middle one, it does redirect people here. And the only reason that I have it for that spe this specific product is because I spent a lot of time, a lot of time in this notion. And it's 80 different tools and it and I list out all the tools, but I also provided a starter guide for each tool where you can go in there and do all the things. And then I also gave a bunch of tips on creative things that you can do with those tools. And I'm kind of making a decision now whether or not this should be an actual product or if this should be blog content. And I'm really close to leaning towards blog content um, just so I don't have to do the whole redirect to Notion thing. I love Notion. I use Notion every day for all my things, but um but you want to keep people on your site as much as possible for as long as possible. So anytime you take them to a whole nother platform, you are losing that customer to whatever platform you lost them to. So the goal is to keep everybody on Geek Empowered because we are building like this ecosystem of resources and blogs and videos and uh, guides and services that people can continuously use throughout their day while they're working through um, different tech tools in their business. So that covers everything for my tutorial on how to build a digital product using your website and Stripe. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at ehi at geekempowered.com. You can also visit geekempowered.com to schedule a one-on-one uh, -on -one session, whether that is a tech audit or you need to talk through your idea or talk through your problem to figure out what you need. And I'll see you all soon.